this relationship that we have in the TV show, you know from the start, is is doomed. But that doesn't mean that it didn't have incredible moments of euphoria and connection. And like any other relationship, when it's with another you know, person, it's going to have all of those things in equal measure and hopefully more of the good than the bad. I was just curious, you know, you guys are depicting such an intense, wild marriage. Did you and Jesse know each other before? And how did you guys kind of build up the relationship to be comfortable showing all these emotions? We had met briefly before, but just one time. So we didn't have a, you know, a huge sense of each other. We had a few cast dinners before we began rehearsing, and that was helpful. Um, Our rehearsal process was pretty concentrated, but very effective. Um, but I have to say, I had an immediate kind of rapport and kind of sh- sh- shorthand with this fine fellow. So it didn't take much cultivation or effort. Um, yeah, it was yeah. absolutely pleasurable, immediately comfortable and engaging, wonderful experience because she's the best and she's so smart and thoughtful and Talented. Yeah, it was great. And then we also had the woman who ran the show is the woman who wrote the book. And so there was this very kind of like integrated relationship between the TV series and this incredibly specific lengthy book, which, you know, talked about everything that happens in the series, but in a way that was kind of immediately resonant and emotional and at greater length because it's a novel. And so we had this just wonderfully rich experience of this very fraught, complicated marriage. You know, the show moves so rapidly through time. And, I, you know, I thought of the block universe that's brought up by the Fleischmann Sun, where everything's happening at once. So, Jesse, how do you kind of balance depicting these, you know, happier moments to these like bitter moments, like going back and forth? It almost feels like whiplash when you're watching the show. So I'm curious as an actor, how do you kind of handle that? Well, you know, I mean, I I'm in like a happy marriage personally, you know, but it's, you know, like any other, you know, human relationship, you go through periods where you're feeling like, you know, uh, you know, so angry at another person. And then, you know, it's all it takes is thinking back to, you know, a previous happy memory to realize that, you know, all relationships when they're with another human being are going to be fraught with all sorts of feelings. And, you know, this relationship that we have in the TV show, you know, from the start is is doomed. But that doesn't mean that it didn't have incredible moments of euphoria and connection. And like any other relationship, when it's with another you know, person, it's going to have all of those things in equal measure and hopefully more of the good than the bad. Yeah. And, you know, speaking of like, I guess, like the block universe, universes in general, okay. Claire, I'm, I'm curious, you know, did you guys ever think, was there a universe where Rachel and Toby work out? Did you kind of do any like sort of thought exercises, imagining like different avenues that they could have gone down? What was your personal perspective on that? We do see them function um, in a healthy way at, mm-hmm. at different points, right? So, I mean, I think there's an innate chemistry that exists and, and a deep love and respect that they lose along the way um, for various reasons that I found really fascinating. Um, and, you know, it's there's something deeply tragic about the fact that they're not able to resuscitate the relationship or um, like unpick a a kind of fatal knot that developed um, at a critical juncture, right? Um, So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I didn't really see it in those terms exactly, but I think, I think for Rachel, her, her trauma, the initial trauma of her mother dying at such a young age, um, was much more alive than she realized. And it got kind of reactivated and aggravated. Um, and and she just couldn't cope, right, with that. And she also didn't, she wasn't conscious that it was happening. So she wasn't able to communicate it to her partner and ask for the help that she needed. And he couldn't see it in her either. So that's how I contextualize it. That's how I saw it. And I don't think there would be another outcome. Um, there is no parallel universe. Thank you so much for your time today. That is all I've got. It was great speaking with both of you. I love the show so much. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank, Thank you. you. so sweet. Thank, Thank you so much. You.